Yes, uh, 100%. Right? I think they did more than what uh, a club uh, like Kotoko should do in Ghana, to my, est- to my estimation, because uh, <laughs> the level of attention to details with regard to my injury was really, really high, the level of professionalism, uh, and the, the way they treated me okay. in and out of the, on and out of the field now was exceptional because sometimes I find my, I was, I, I sometimes tell myself I was lucky. I was lucky to have that kind of uh, a care and treatment because uh, obviously Unemu Bua, everybody knows in Ghana, so Unemu Bua, like the way it goes, you know, but for me to, at that time, for me to be in Kotoko, the kind of game which I got injured, the kind of attention I got and the kind of treatment I got, I just... I just sometimes say I was really, really fortunate because I've had so many instances of players getting injured in Ghana now. Yeah. That's the end of their career, you know, especially when it's like a career threatening injury, like a fracture of that sort, you know. So for me, I'm really, really fortunate. And up to now, I really, really thank Kotoko uh, for their efforts at that time. Wow. Omo um, Omodo Utsu um, Kwan Kakra for yes. treatment. In, yes. Uh, from the initial treatment in your confinement, your, um, uh, your accident and emergency section on, um, okay. I had a uh, year surgery, you know, me a recovery, Kakra, Miss Ansu, Miss Ansu rehabilitation or uh, KUST, a tech, yeah, no more rehab center, gym, for uh, one uh, instructor, Mr. Dominic, he is also a good person really took care of me during the time of uh, KK Sapon then uh, I had the opportunity to KK Sapon took me to Scotland to oh, start okay. uh, an, an extensive uh, rehabilitation with the uh, hearts of Midlothian oh, so we have rehab or hearts in Scotland yeah we have both hearts in Scotland for like how many how many months for two weeks for two weeks for two weeks and I was given a program and instructions for the Rest of the month to mm. last that playing. So, almost significant difference after Scotland uh, rehab. No? Yeah, yeah. I, I had I had a clear uh, estimation of the level I'm at that time. Okay. The my muscle density, me some other me mobility in the body. So I had a clear distinction of what or how the state I was in that time. Yeah. You know, and even when I came to Ghana. Uh, it didn't stop there. I had uh, uh, Dr. Kiki Sapon took me to this uh, rehabilitation center in uh, East Legon, uh, Marcel Desai Sport Complex. Yeah, Lizzie. Uh, uh, Lizzie Sport Complex, yeah. Timmy Free Scotland, maybe to us, or Lizzie Sport Complex, till I, I came back. We are grateful. Um, I'm more than grateful. Wow. I'm more than grateful. Wow. Then, Yen Yen is snappy. Um, injury uh, recovery, no by Utimi Utimi by D. Some like Utimi boy season for Kotoko after so recover and I say recovery, ni more now. Unya opportunity to go uh, after recovery, no, uh, mean your opportunity to play a handful of games during the uh, Max Okunedu time IFR league. No? Okay, so I played somewhere some parts because uh, during before you proceed, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, OG league, sir, what's Kotoko one Michi back on. Okay, Which that is Maxwell, back. the only an Abamu. Max, yes, Maxwell, GM. So after Maxwell time, now did it Dramani buy. Mm-hmm. So when the league started, now me no opportunity to go to Finland. Okay. To FC Hong Kong. So I, of course, I thought it was time to get to Europe and you know start a new life there. Mm. Hong Kong, then Helsinki at your form. Emma Black Stars call mm-hmm. up, cra. I think so. Unya Viana. Uh-huh. So in your color, oh Helsinki, yeah. Nay, nay, a qualifier, so that's a friendly game. Nay, nay, a friendly game against uh, Canada or Washington, Washington. DC. That is yes. Ivan Grant. Yes. Ivan Grant, yeah. I remember I was there, uh-huh. mm-hmm. yeah. but since then, where in your color, BAB? I mean, you said, man, you not any significant color. No. Oh, you're disappointed. No, I wasn't disappointed because uh, you you check the magnitude of players here, but and their clubs they play yeah. and their their consistency they have. Of course, to be called at that time was was good because of course I was in good form in the Europa League. 
and that was it. But I've I, I, I've never been disappointed without with any call ups. Just to go so but opportunity beat me as Amba for the of national team. Just of you you ready at any point? Yeah, <laughs> of course I'm ready at any point. So for me, the 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 philosophy and the the goal for me is to just to keep going because in life there are so many obstacles, ups and downs. And sure. You should be ready to just keep going, just fight till you can't fight anymore. So, and as much as I'm healthy, I'm very happy. Call ups, no call ups. <laughs> Once I'm healthy and yeah. playing and fit, that's, that's the most that's, important that's, thing. That's most important. Yeah. So, Honka Helsinki, good performance anywhere call up. Then New York Red Bull. What happened? Oh, New York Red Bull. The same call up to Black Stars. I think New York Red Bulls had scouts in the in the Ghana camp and they had one New York Red Bull player, Lloyd Sam, our yeah. boss our game. Lloyd. So recommendations started from there and I ended up in Red Bull and they really liked me and I, I had a fantastic start of the season. In the MLS? So in the MLS till in the summer I mean stress fracture from the previous the fracture na minyaro. Oh, uh, Kumasino. So, so that is like a recurring a injury. Recurring. It wasn't the same. No. no like it, the same injury. It was. But it's the, it same the same spot. Injury. The same spot, but recurring. So it's called stress fracture. Okay. In a sense, uh, it's it embu, but it's cracked. Okay. And you cannot play. You still feel pain. So uh, I think Niagrebu decided to fix. It once and for all, hence the reason why I make chair with you because fear. they could have they could have uncombat me as me POP and in two three months you are back. I'll be ready to but they are not they were not sure because they wanted to they wanted the best for me so the next day after the stretch of Chamico yeah extensive surgery to put a rod so the leg is healed once and for all. Okay, so uh, um, New York or uh, Red Bull they take heat, the cost involved. I will yes. surgery in the BBR. Yes. Wow. Yes. Up, up to now with the follow-ups. Of course, I'm not in the MLS no more. But of course, uh, I'm afraid it'll be workers' compensation when you get injured. Yeah. You have this workers' compensation, now you can just go for follow-ups with the same doctor. You know, it's just a part and parcel of the league. So. It's quite different yeah. from here. <laughs> yeah, there is quite different from here. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Of course. Wow. So it took you for like a year to get back? A year. A year to get back. And uh, getting back to wasn't easy. And there's there's been so many games gone by. There's been so many players coming in. And of course, mind you, may occupy international slot. And mostly for international slots, you know, of course, unless you are very, very good, you don't really get the opportunity to play in the MLS as an international player. Yeah. Because you have a limited, slots, limited number of players. Limited number of players. So uh, I think a year after me injured, they had, of course, players who are American, who are, who are like citizens and they can play. So they just uh, couldn't continue with the contract because, of course, that, that slot is mainly for strikers okay. and like uh, designated players. So. Uh, after my contract, you know, we sat down and had agreements. Uh, we we couldn't continue, so then I have to find a new part and still keep going and still play. Mm. But the best thing out of that experience that I I came back uh, as a totally new person because there will be no re- occurrence of any fracturing injury yeah. whatsoever in my life again. So that's a positive thing I took from there. Now you are in Kazakhstan. Uh-huh. And so how many years? I signed a year. I signed a year uh, with the uh, Kazakhstan team. Of course, with the, uh, your history of injuries, it's, it's very hard for teams to sign you long term because they don't know what will be the outcome. So for the past uh, two, three years, it's been a year or two. Last year, I signed two years with Honka, but of course, uh, because of some reasons, personal reasons, we had to come to a decision and we terminated the contract. Okay. Namiba, uh, chapter, and I signed to the end of the year. Okay. It you call what? What's what about league match? Yes, that team. I bought, um, yeah, yeah, I bought two matches so far. I bought two matches now. Okay. And Tana, uh, COVID, uh, lock, COVID name, but for the lockdown. Two games, is necessary. Yeah. Impressive. 
It's impressive. The first game was hard. You know? That was a form of anxiety, nervousness. Yeah. You know? And we're playing against one of the top clubs in Kazakhstan, Tobo. Okay. Excuse me. So, Tobo, we lost the game 2 1. Nah. Uh, the, our following match, the second game, we played against Karat, which is also okay. Another a, big, game. a big club. And then we win 1 0. Okay, so two games now. One yeah. win. One lose. One lose. Then you now start to 90 minutes. You now about 90 minutes. Oh, indeed, why a fit and pop? Who can I tell you? No, Ceciano, uh, positions have changed now. Most, most, um, most coaches prefer me to prefer to play me on a left centre back. Okay. You know, because of course I'm I'm seeing more height, I'm I'm left footed, it's hard to get a left footed in the yeah. centre back. <laughs> and I, I have uh, uh, the level of strength 